Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for tuning in to BC Sports Update here on WEDT. Here we are live at the campus of Barton College. I'm Mike Del Sardo alongside Katie Wilkinson. Katie, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? How exciting is this? The show's kicking off, and, and it means another Barton season for all our sports around the campus to get started. That's very exciting. Tell us a little about what the show's going to feature. Well, we're going to bring our viewers scores, reports, and updates on all of the teams throughout this whole season and throughout this whole year. Um, you know, we have volleyball. Uh, women's volleyball, that is, uh, men's and women's soccer during the fall, uh, basketball, men's and women's as well, coming up in the winter. And we're just going to bring our viewers as much and up to date on those teams as we can. Well, good. Can't wait. Now, now you playing volleyball yourself, how's the team looking so far and what are your expectations for this season? Well, we're off to a little bit of a slow start. We've had one game and then we've had a tournament in South Carolina. Um, we've we played some difficult teams, but it's a building season for us, and we're trying to work our way up so by the end of the season we'll be performing how we should be, and hopefully we'll progress well as the season goes on. But I'm really excited, and our first home game is this Wednesday, so very excited about that. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really anxious to see how the rest of the season's going to go. That's awesome. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about soccer. Well, they, they're coming off a 12-7 and seven record last year. Um, although they have lost a, an All-American and first-team All-Conference, uh, Eric Panjunk, and, and he won't be with them this season. He'll be sitting out due to NCAA regulations. But um, they've started off a little bit slow, trying to play without him, trying to rely on each other a little bit better. Um, they've started one and three. Um, Dante De Luca, who we'll speak with later, has been stepping up and and really taking a leadership role for this team. And when they get going, and which they will at the right time, they, uh, they should have a good season and a, and a good run in the conference tournament. Well, we hope for the best from both teams. Coming up next, we will talk with Coach Lennox of the women's and men's volleyball team. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the BC Sports Update. Here I am with Coach Lennox, who is currently the men's and women's volleyball coach at Barton. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me today. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, just want to start it off with how's the girls team looking so far this year, and what are your expectations for the season? Um, I think our expectations are high. Um, whenever you start uh, with a team, you know, you have to develop a culture. Um, and I think that's what we're still trying to develop. Uh, we're trying to create an identity right now. So as far as we're looking, we're just going to keep building. Um, as far as the season goes, our main goal is to be playing the best by the end of the season. So if we can do that, uh, if we can build as a group, um, continue to grow as a group, I think that our team will be playing the best at the end of the season. And as far as our potential, um, I think we have the right players to do so. So it's looking good. We're excited. That's good. Uh, now, what do you believe that the keys to success for this season would have to be? Um, there's a few things for us right now. Um, I would say that, you know, we're an experienced team, but we're also a young team. And so trying to figure out how to get our young players to step into their roles, um, how to compete at a high level on a daily basis, whether it's in practice um, or during our matches, and then really getting some leadership from some other of our um, seniors. Um, I think right now we have a great captain, um, but we need some other people to step up um, and, and play their part and lead these younger people, um, these younger athletes, and, and help them be successful. Um, and again, it, it just can't be in the matches, it has to be in practice. And, and if they do that, um, I think those two, those two parts of our group um, are going to make us a su successful team. So. Well, Coach, uh, this is your first year here at Barton. Just tell us a little bit how you found Barton and, and how you ended up here today. That's a good question. Uh, my wife actually found it. Uh, we were in Elmira, New York, and I was coaching at Division School 3, Elmira, uh, Elmira College, um, Division 3 school. And I was coaching women's for four years, and I started the men's program there um, a couple years ago. And I think we were ready for a change. Uh, my wife and I were ready to get to um, a different area in the country, um, maybe get in a different uh, type of school. Um, and so she was kind of looking on the NCAA website, uh, found Barton, and we looked into it. Um, and we kind of lined up with their core values, I think, and we were excited about the opportunity. And I guess you'd say the rest is history. We're down here now, so. You know, we're glad, glad to have you here at Barton. And is this a place that, that you feel that you can, can stay and, and build a successful program along the way? 
Yeah, I mean, that was our main objective, I think, um, for my wife and I as a family, that we were going to go somewhere where we were going to stay for a while, um, that we were going to be able to kind of put our roots down. Um, and we wanted that to be a place where we felt comfortable with the culture and the people. And I think when we came to visit Barton, um, that was the main thing that we saw, that Barton was a great college of great people, um, that they cared about their students, that they cared about their athletes, um, that they cared about their staff and their coaches. Um, and that meant a lot to us. So I think that finding that for us was what we really wanted. Um, and it gives us the chance to stay here for a while. Well, Barton College is, is lucky to have you and uh, can't thank you enough for your time. And, and we appreciate you being here and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Stay I tuned. It. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the BC Sports Update. In just a moment, we'll be joined by Dante De Luca, a men's soccer player here at Barton. But before that, let's take a look at their upcoming games. Welcome back. We're joined with Dante De Luca, who plays soccer for the men's team here at Barton College. How are you, Dante? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. So you come from Brazil, completely different country. How did you hear about a small college like Barton? Well, I used to go to school in Florida, and um, I have a friend that goes here. Uh, his name's Eric, and um, we were talking about um, why we go to college together. Um, that would be a nice experience for mm -hmm. us. And then I started talking to Coach Aikens about it, and I came for a tryout, and everything worked fine. And so that's basically how I heard about the school. Well, speaking of Eric, he was an All-American this past year, 14 goals, 14 assists. And now, after transferring back to Barton, he's not able to play this year. So how do you think that's going to affect the season? Uh, well. I think it's a good thing for us because um, it's going to be like a learning experience um, to learn how to play without him. And uh, next year, once he's going to be able to play, it's going to be uh, you know, a combination of uh, this year and uh, last year since he played. So I hope next year we're going to combine those two years and, and play well. Right. So what are some team goals, personal goals you may have for yourself for this season? Um, I think um, going to uh, conference playoffs is a big uh, um, goal for us. And, um, well, we also like to win every home game, you know, because our crowd is always nice and they always go and, and they're allowed. So it's, uh, it's a big thing for us. How do you think the end of the season will be looking? Because I know you had a good run last season and your team was strong. And so how do you think the, as your season progresses, how do you think your chances are? for well, a conference championship? Well, um, we start off a little bit slow. We had a, a two losses, but that didn't affect a lot on the conference. Uh, it, was more, it was more like for the record. But um, we are connecting the dots right now. Uh, we had a good win against Chowan. And um, I think we, once we start uh, playing together, um, uh, working harder in practice, we can have a better season uh, I think we can actually have a better season than we had last, uh, last year because uh, the guys that we're playing are older and we didn't lose a lot of players from last year. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. I hope we, we're going to make the playoffs and, you know, who knows we can win in it. And I wish you the best of luck this season. So thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Is there anything else you would like to add? Well, um, just come support us, you know, be loud, and we'll try our best to win every home game. Well, thank you so much for being here, and we'll be right back with more.
Welcome back. That was a very successful first show. We just want to thank Dante DeLuca and Jeff Lennox for taking time out of their day to come speak with us. Join us next time for another BC Sports Update.